Hello, I'm Song Yuan, and this is my course project Learning Control Level Functions for the FCC system with unknown dynamics. In the lectures, we have learned how to get a controller that is stable in the sense of Lyapunov in an environment with known dynamics. We can use control of known functions as the sensitivities and use powerful techniques like sum of squares to solve the problem and get the controller. If we want to deal with high dimensional systems, we can also use recent words on neural Lyapunov functions, which learns the control of known functions with samples. However, all these approaches need to know the dynamics of the systems, which is sometimes hard to get. For example, this is a simulation of the famous fighter F-16, which is developed by Professor Stanley Beck's group. The fighter is initialized at a posture that is going to crash on the ground, and our mission is to derive a controller that pulls it up and makes it stabilize at the desired altitude. However, this is a system with highly complex nonlinear dynamics given by a lookup table, which means we do not have any equations to describe the dynamics explicitly. So this leads to a new problem. How to get a controller that is stable in the sense of the unknown in an environment with unknown dynamics? Here we propose a new idea. Can we learn from imperfect demonstrations? Let's imagine the large blue ellipse to be the state space and a small blue circle to be the draw point. Given some imperfect demonstrations, which cannot reach the draw at this blue curve, instead of learning the dynamics of the whole state space, we learn the dynamics only around demonstrations. This means that the learned dynamics will have a small arrow inside this blue tunnel and have a large arrow in other places. Once we learn the dynamics, we can apply the neural Lyapunov for approaches to learn a control Lyapunov function and a controller, which tends to drive us to draw. In the meantime, we limit the divergence of the learned controller of the demonstrations so that it cannot draw far away to some places that learned dynamics has a large arrow. If we execute this controller, it will generate a trajectory like the green curve, which is closer to the draw. Then we learn the dynamics again to form this green tunnel and do one more iteration to learn a new controller. We then execute the controller, learn the dynamics, update the controller, and execute the controller again until the controller drives us to the draw. Here is the framework of our model. We conducted experiments on the F16 system. Given the demonstrations that only pull up the F16 at a very low altitude, our algorithm can pull up the fighter at a much higher altitude and stabilize it at our desired altitude of about 1000 feet. Compiled with other algorithms like the reinforcement learning approach PPO, the imitation learning approach Arrow, and the approaches for learning from imperfect demonstrations direct than SSR, our algorithm can reach the draw altitude and it is much more stable. We also plot the curve of the expected reward with respect to the number of samples. This shows that our algorithm can converge very fast with a much higher sample efficiency.